telephone, TV, pretty sure, although the Americans always debate it. Telegrams. Um, mobile phone. Just on my head. Radar. Did we invent radar? I thought we did the trains. Um, traffic light. Didn't we have the first traffic, traffic light? light. <laughs> yeah. Internet. Jet engines. Well, there's all of Dyson's products, of course. Um, Thomas Edison, the light bulb. Uh, well, obviously, there was a Sinclair uh, bicycle. But who invented the spinning jenny? Britain did, didn't they? Uh, steamship. <laughs> I think it was a steamship. The toilet. Alexander Graham Bell, John Logie Baird. Oh, crikey. And Robert Louis Stevenson. Okay. Eisenbach, King and Brunel was British. John Logie Baird was Scottish. Michael Faraday was British. Frank Whittle was British. James Dyson was British. Yes, five Sinclair. John Logie Baird, yep. Faraday, of course. Frank Whittle, yes. Wasn't he the rocket guy? Funny, did I make that up? A Trevor Bayliss, that's it, yeah. Lived on, I, I remember he lived on Eel Pie Island. <laughs> Henry Royce was British. Alan Turing was British. God, it's huge, isn't it? It's a massive subject because it's everything from making tiny little fiddly things that you can't actually see from nanotechnology all the way through to building ships and huge buildings and everything in between, really. Well, it depends what engineer you're referring to, really. Is it one that's trying to come up with inventions or is it one that's actually trying to build them? Well, they sit down with, with presumably, um, specific problems like... Um, how do you do this uh, um, air conditioning in a building or whatever? It's a very practical job, uh, fixing things, being imaginative and creative. I always think of engineers as people with tools in their hands, making um, mostly stuff with metal these days and with electronics and stuff like that. Probably find new and innovative ways to do things that are already done and also create new things. University, study hard, work hard, that sort of thing. Go through college, educate yourself a bit. Probably apprenticeships could be useful too. So I wanted to in my time, and my daughter's daughter is uh, doing engineering in second year. He has to study, I would think. He has to want to do it and study. I mean, from a teacher's point of view, um, I would have to say that you need to make sure you've got the right qualifications to start with, but that doesn't stop you at all because brilliant people have come up with brilliant ideas from their sheds. Um, I have a shed, I love to use it, and it's the place where you invent things. 